Hey guys, it's Phase One once again with another video. Today we kind of wanted to uh, go through and take a quick look at uh, the new Anvil Spartan. Right, so this is the ground vehicle. This is a transport vehicle using the same chassis as the uh, missile launcher. What, what is the name of that? Um, but um, yes, this is a, a brand new vehicle. It looks really cool. I'm liking the outside of it. It looks really, really good. It's a, it's a good vehicle to allow you to uh, transport um, multiples of your crewmates um, for your ground assaults on the um, on the underground facilities that are on all these uh, planets and moons. So right now, since they're becoming more dangerous with the rocket defense systems being installed there, you're going to need ground vehicles to transport your crew. So this is a great vehicle for that. Um, yeah, there's tons and tons of space here. So just wanted to do a quick um, look around. This is just to give you guys a um, a good look. Let's 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 go from the outside first. And let's, let's just walk around the outside, and then uh, we'll come back inside and we'll close it out with that. All right. All right. So this this is essentially what it looks like from the outside. It's it's fairly big in comparison to. Um, when you're on foot, it's, it's actually quite sizable. I believe it has two size ones or size twos. I think those are size two Gatlins. It's very, very dangerous actually for defense. And, um, I'm really liking the exterior. I'm liking the uh, the uh, the pilot seat as well or the driver's seat. And um, it's looking really good. It's looking really good. I heard that eventually we'll be able to climb these stairs and go up. Um, that's going to be interesting to see. But it looks good. It looks good, man. It looks like something I would want to own. I'll probably get it in-game myself. Um, just to have it in case uh, um, we need to do any um, incursions or whatever raids that we want to partake in with uh, when we have a lot of guys. Um, so... Yeah, so this is what it looks like. This is what the ins inside looks like. Is there a light here? I wonder. That's locked. What is this? No one of these supposed to be for lights, but uh, that's fine. So it looks like um, each seat has a gun rack as well, right? There's a gun rack for each seat. So each person will have a gun with them. Um, wow, so it's gonna be a good eight, eight guys you can you can transport, and plus if people want to stand, they could also stand in here. And um, this is another entrance on the side. I think. Hold on, I think there's light in here. Give me a quick second. It's lighting. Maybe back here is meant to be like this. Also, there's a door on each side, actually. This, this is good. There's a door on this side. Alright, so you can both both crews can just go on each side and just get out like that. We dropped off. Back in. Good, I like the fact that there's multiple access points. It's very important for a drop vehicle you know when you need to get the guys out as soon as possible and leave the area um it's really nice all right so there is a turret so i don't know if there's actually gonna be a turret um, as if it's a man turret or if it's an auto turret another gun rack for the driver hmm. secure catch before moving what is this is this open Whoa! Okay, so there's an inventory. I like this. I like this. There's inventory in this vehicle. Perfect. This is fantastic. I did not expect that. It's a nice surprise. Um, so as you can see here, these are, I believe, the components. Okay, okay. Sex close. Okay, this has a separate door right here. What is this? It doesn't tell me what I'm highlighting. Components, of course. 
Nice. Oh, this one did open. This one blind? What are these? Interesting. Okay. Hmm, some really interesting stuff. This is looking really good to me. I'm liking this. So what controls the turret? Is it the Is it the, the the driver? Would it be the driver that's controlling the turret? Really? I think it's the driver, man. I think it's the driver. Oh. Um that's not good. How do I close all the doors? Hold on. All right. It's got to be a enter turret. Okay. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Because what if you need a, a dedicated gunner and a dedicated driver? You know what I mean? In, in dangerous situations where you need to keep the vehicle moving. I don't know how I feel about just the pilot having the access. I feel like there should be a second terminal where um, somebody else can take control of the turrets. You know what I mean? Um, hmm, interesting. Let's see how it looks like. Yeah, man. Yeah, so I don't know how you would be able to, I mean, Turn off the vehicle. Not bad. Oh, somebody's here. Let's take the ship. Let's get out. Let's get outside of the armistice zone. Just want to. Uh, this is kind of dangerous. I don't know who this person is. This is live too. <laughs> Just want to leave the armistice zone. Okay, so I can control it while I'm driving. Okay, so it's okay. It's actually not bad then, but still, like, let's say somebody's chasing you with a ship, right? You need somebody to be able to look back and shoot. But that means, that means it only works in front facing. What if you need it to shoot backwards, right? Unless one of you guys know, if there's another turret, uh, terminal somewhere else to actually control this thing would be awesome. Um, somebody's coming here. I don't know who that is. Chopper. He's coming close. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, so let me let me wrap it up right here. So this is pretty much the Anvil Spartan. I'm liking it. It's definitely a vehicle I will want to own in game. Um, you guys let me know in the comments below what your thoughts about this. Are you going to pick it up this uh, patch? Let me know. Alright, I will see you on the next one.